We're going to do this fun painting of my lunch. <laughs> Let's get started. Using DaVinci Eye is really easy. You open the app, you make sure that you click the draw, select your photo that you're going to use. I like to draw in AR mode. Click the focus lock. Move my picture around where I want it. Resize it to whatever size I want it to be. Just right here on the phone. Turn off the move and now I can resize my view. That's as easy as it is. Let's get started. This is a 9x12 tablet, uh, paper tablet, and I am going to see about transferring this bowl of rice and vegetables with chopsticks. Sometimes when you move your tablet or your paper, your picture will do weird things, and that's because of your anchor being moved out of the angle that the phone expects it to be in. I am looking at this and going, all right, how big is this bowl? And I'm just drawing with a watercolor pencil, so you may or may not be able to see this right away. But I am just tracing that circle right there. I'll pick it up here and show you in just a second. That's where the chopsticks are. I, so when you get your hand up here in way of your, in the way of your um, anchor is when weird things start happening on your screen. And you just learn how to turn things See, the whole picture is rotating on my little, on my screen. So I can rotate this and get it to the point where I can get my hand back in and connect that in. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So this picture here if I move this around on my screen, I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. Look at that. I can make that really big right there. And when I do that, I'm just drawing that little bit of the chopstick right up to the edge of the bowl. I'm standing up as I'm working. I'm looking down at the photograph on my phone and I am just tracing this out and so you need to be careful though because if you if you rotate it too far or get your hand in underneath of it to see it goes back to the what you see on the on the paper so look at this I'm going to take a little straight edge and I'm going to use it along the line of the chopstick You don't have to be able to, you know, free draw a line if that's not one of your skills. So I can take this and put it on the other side of that line. My pencil is not super sharp. I'm going to put it along that line and put it on the other side. See, use the tools, guys. Use all the tools. Not every tool has to be a high-tech tool. So look at that. That's what I've got there so far. And picking it up and setting it down. I can get it lined back up again. See? Real easy. Just drop it back down until the camera sees the anchor. In my bowl... I see there's kind of a shadow that comes down underneath of those chopsticks right here. 
Ooh, there's an edge to that bowl. I think I'm going to get a bit of that edge in. Maybe I can't see that edge as well. So I'm just going to enlarge so I can see that edge better. My lines are not going to be perfect on this bit because I am trying to develop a bit of a looser drawing habit. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a that's a trick. That's a trick. But you guys, look at this. You can get things in bigger than what your uh, printer can print. You know? Now I'm going to look at that and I say, well, that shape right there, I've got some rice and then I've got some more rice. Kind of a block of rice right there. Kind of goes down. Ooh, there's some veggies. There's a bit of a carrot. And sometimes I'll draw, I'll overdraw my space. So here, let's just. So sometimes my lines will, will go over what I've been doing. It's okay. You know, your lines go over when you're drawing without any tools too. Here's a little bit of cauliflower. And then there's some more rice going around in the bowl. And stop right there. There's some stuff underneath. Ooh, there's a bit of broccoli right there. Maybe some more rice. You can keep it loose. You don't have to be tight with this. Ooh, there's kind of a a stem of a broccoli with a bit of rice on top. I am not going to make a, ooh, there's the back side of that broccoli. Right there. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm sketching this in. I'm not being too precious. Maybe I'll say that that might be broccoli or cauliflower or carrots or whatever. I'm just putting in some different sort of shadows and shapes. I am doing this with a blue watercolor pencil. So, you know, generally speaking, you want to use something that's in the color range of what you're, what you're drawing if you're using a watercolor pencil, but oh well, you know, Sometimes all you do is grab what you've got and you don't worry about it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm transferring this. I'm going to paint this. I'm probably going to paint it with watercolor. There's some more cauliflower right there. So we're getting this lovely little bowl of vegetables and rice. But yeah, I had somebody ask me, can you take something and make it big? Well, this is, this is pretty big. I haven't gone bigger than this. The thing that limits how big you can go is how high you can get your, your device that you're looking at above your surface. That's the thing that determines how big you can go. Although they do have, the Da Vinci Eye people have made a mural program so you can actually aim it up at a wall and you can do things wall size. So there's, there's stuff out there if you want to go super big. I don't know how small the mural program will go because then that one is you know how small can it go and some more rice some more carrot there's some shadow probably don't want to do those shadows in blue but you know what this is an experiment and now you see I've got part of my bowl over here that hasn't been drawn in. I'm just going to shift this over 
so I can see it, but it shifts it over on my screen, but it stays in the right place for me to draw on the paper. Isn't that cool? That's the thing that I like about a program like this is I can get a pretty darn good representation without, you know, I don't have to have a printer. I don't have to have any transfer paper. I could do this really small if I wanted to. So if I wanted to do it super small, I could, um, I could set it up to be much smaller. Now I want to get a little bit of this. Let's see. That's just that's just rice. I'm not too worried about that. All right. I think we're looking at that. There's a bit of rice that's tucking back over this way. That's some broccoli or cauliflower. So there, I've got my bowl of lunch done. I wanna put a little bit of that background in. I do want to put this one in. See, you can get totally drilled into the details or you can skip all the details and just get your outlines. So have fun. Oh, I love this. This is fun. This is making my heart so happy to do. I'm grateful that you're here, that you're enjoying watching these types of videos. I think I want... I will paint this up and show it to you here at the end of the sh end of this video. Look at that. Look how detailed that is. Didn't take me very long at all. Not even 20 minutes to draw that in. I'll do some watercolor pencil and paint paint this in and then share it with you at the end. I hope that you'll give this a try. DaVinci Eye is a great tool. It's something to have in your pocket to use when you have something complicated and you want to simplify it, or if you have something complicated and you want to do it complicated. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure that you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and come back for more fun art, drawing, painting, and creative tools. Oh, don't forget, Go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. I want to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>